Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the accept and accept all set operators introduced in Oracle Database 21C. We have three test tables. In the T1 table, we have two rows of record type 10, two rows of record type 20, and two rows of record type 30. In the T2 table, we have one row of record type 20 and one row of record type 30. There are no rows with record type 10. In the T3 table, we have two rows of record type 20 and two rows of record type 30. There are no rows with record type 10. First, we demonstrate the accept set operator which is functionally equivalent to the minus set operator. We select all the rows from T1, then use the accept operator to eliminate all the rows that are present in T2. Remember, the accept operator removes duplicates, so effectively we're asking for three distinct rows from T1, minus the two distinct rows from T2. This is why we see a single row returned for record type 10. We can explicitly use the distinct keyword to get the same result. We repeat the previous query, but use the accept all set operator. Accept all doesn't remove duplicate rows, so we see a different result. We have two rows for record type 10, and one row each for record types 20 and 30. We had duplicates in T1 for all three record types, but only a single row for record types 20 and 30 in T2. As a result, the accept all only removed a single row for the record types 20 and 30 from our final result set. This time we use accept all again, but use T3 as the second table. T3 has two rows each for record types 20 and 30, so this time we only see two rows for record type 10 in the final result set. Both rows for record types 20 and 30 have been removed. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.